Hey, on today's daily sprint, talking about increasing our purpose, passion, and meaning. And this is going to come off a little bit in your face. This is going to come off uh, uh, a little bit rough, but this is the flat out truth. 1% of our world controls 99% of the wealth. Okay, if you make over, I think if, if you make over $420,000 a year, you're of the top 3% in the entire world. Now, what these 1% to 3% do, what they're doing, there's a culmination of things, but the main thing that they're doing is when they have an opportunity put on their plate, who do you think they're talking to? Do you think they're talking to the other 97%? What are they going to hear from the, the, the other 97%? Oh my gosh, that's too risky. Oh, what about your exit strategy? They're going to hear 97% talk, okay? So when they get an opportunity put on their plate, who do they go talk to? They talk to three percenters. Okay, what's your return on investment? What kind of work would you have to put in? Because the top three percenters, they know it's going to be risky. That's part of leveling up, okay? So they would never say, oh, that sounds a little risky. That's assumed, Okay, safe life is the 97%. It is not safe in the shark infested waters of the 3%. Okay, but here's the thing when you're a shark swimming with sharks, you don't got to be worried about e being eaten by shark. Okay, when you're a lamb, bah, yeah, you probably don't want to go swim with the sharks. But guess what? If you are a lamb and you aspire to swim with the sharks, it's 100% possible. So, what do you need to do if you're a lamb and someone puts an opportunity? You know, and I was a lamb. I was a lamb, you know, doing the, the corporate America. Hopefully I get a raise and, you know, hopefully I might get a good performance review. And, hey, I got a half a day off on Friday. That was so nice of the boss because I hit sales quota or whatever it is. I was a lamb. But when it came time to be, go into entrepreneurship, one thing I didn't do is go and ask other lambs. Actually, I did do that. I'm lying right now. I did talk to other lambs, and that's exactly what they said. They said, it's risky. My mom said, what's your exit strategy? So basically, like, you're gonna, what's your strategy? Because you know you're going to fail. She also told me 80% of small businesses fail, like multiple times, sent me news articles. But then I also got around a few sharks, a few entrepreneurs, and they didn't talk that way. They were like, man, you're going to have freedom, man, you are going to have so much more time, man, you know, it's going to be crazy tough work, but we're going to be right there in the trenches with you, man, you're going to grow as a person, you're going to get so uncomfortable, it's, it's unbelievable, but right now you're just comfortable living in discomfort, and I'm like, wow. So when you have something put on your plate that brings you to a destination that you think that you want to go, or that you know that you want to go, don't talk to the 97%. Find the 3%. Find the people who your desired behavior is their norm, okay? Those are the types of people that you're going to get an honest assessment with. And I'm going to tell you what, those type of people, they might tell you, no, this is not the right opportunity for you, okay? They're going to give you an honest assessment because guess what? They're already here, okay? You're here. You're talking to people here. They want to keep you right there. They want to keep you right within arm's length. These people want to lift you up. So they're going to give you an honest assessment. These people are going to be motivated to keep you right where you're at, okay, where these people are going to be motivated to be truthful with you and get you to where you're capable of being. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great growth-driven rest of your day.